talking about these guys. Uh, Mr. Alex does create music with AI, uh, but AI doesn't want to help move 3D models and showed his qualifications to his t his teammates. And Ozzy Asai says many, many, many things, many things. And at the bottom, he says, whoa, I have too many hobbies in many domains. So, yes. They I all kind of seem like the same domain to me, honestly. <laughs> oh, too. Okay, you got, you got music and cats. Music, cats, he does EDM, electronic dance music. I'm sure he's got more, but yeah. those must be the big two because that's what he's talking about. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys. I love so many hobbies. Let's see what happens in this next match. Are we going to see a winner? Are, is, is Mr. Alex going to lock this up and move on to the round of eight? Or... Is Mr. Adrian, Mr. Ozzy, going to stall him for another match? Let's find out. This next CAD battle between Latvia and Romania, SolidWorks vs. Katia, begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XXXX grams? This part is made from 1060 aluminum alloy. 2,700 kilograms per cubic meter. It is in millimeters. And guys, if you're watching in the audience, grab a screen capture because our runners are both getting into it and we don't want to miss any of the action. Here we go. Mr. Alex on the left already got his first line sketched. How would we model a part like this? There are a few ways, but I think there's probably a, a more or less obvious way. We might call it a revolve. We're going to draw the cross section of this thing. We're going to draw a center line and we're going to revolve this thing around the center line. This is CAD 101. How to create a sketch that or a feature that isn't going to be extruded. A round feature that's not going to be extruded. You're probably going to create a revolve. What's not obvious is that little bit sticking off to the right. There's at least two mainstream ways to do that. Yes. Um, and both of them have their problems. You know, one might take longer to draw, but give you cleaner geometry. One might be a little dirtier, but it's quicker. Yes. And this is some kind of a pressure cap. So it's going to, you know, it's going to be mounting, uh, you know, on top of some other vessel. So that's why we have those slotted holes around the flange. But then that, that other part that's sticking out the side is also kind of a flange. And that's a through hole that's connected. So it's some kind of like a pressure cap that's going to connect to another device. And so this is a, a connected thing. And, and a lot of times when you have a extrusion like that with a flange, it could be difficult to, to kind of figure out like, how do you make the hole? You know, like you, you like make the outer part, but then what do you do with that inside part? Sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's harder. It kind of depends how you do that, that shape on the side. Yeah. I'm also curious to see how these guys handle those mounting holes being curved slots. A lot of different ways you can create that geometry. A lot of lot of inflection points, and decision tree branches. So we'll see what they come up with there. Yeah. Now, I should know this because I use it literally every day. But does SolidWorks? Okay, you've got the the slot tool where you define the endpoints, and mm -hmm. then you have a different slot tool where you define the center and then an endpoint. Is there a curved center slot? I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. That's definitely there. in there too. Yep. I know you can do the three-point arc yep. slot. Okay. Yep. So cool. we have that. So then, and then in other CAD programs, like if you if you're an on. Oh, sorry, that no, was no. crazy. Uh, Mr. Alex just did an awesome trick, and uh, instead of using up to surface, if you just leave SolidWorks on a blind extrude, you can double click a surface and it'll snap to it. Pretty good, right? It automatically changes it to up to surface. Yeah. What's really annoying though is if you're using any other any other mode like mid plane if that was the default then you can't double click to do the auto up to surface it's right. only with with blind with blind yeah and in the new versions of solidworks they leave they like remember what you used last time so it yeah. kind of it kind of uh, sabotages that that epic workflow Look i don't at, remember who did it first but uh it was either victor or ivan that taught me that trick yeah. in the uh in the tournament last year yeah, that's what's so cool about these tournaments is watching these runners and seeing little tricks like that, like double click up to next. It's like it's so valuable and it, it just lets the whole community kind of learn these great time saving shortcuts. Yeah, except when there's a guy that's so fast that you can't even tell what you they're can't doing. Can't even see, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, like I love Mr. Alex's use of instant 3D here. Yeah. I I really like this uh this workflow Mr. Alex is putting down here. This is a pretty tight it's going to be tough. I'm not going to say that that uh, Adrian is out, but I'm going to say it's going to be tough if Mr. Alex doesn't get hung up here at all. 
uh, he's gonna he's gonna be cruising for that point. But there's also a lot of places things can go wrong. Let's see let's see how uh, how experienced how skilled he is with the uh, with the slot tools. Yeah, so Ozzy, it's gone now, but um, he just ran into one of the issues I was talking about, where if you extrude that into the cone, it leaves some, I guess we'd call it a dingus. That's exactly. a technical cone that you exactly. got to clean up. But yep. it looked like he made really quick work of the delete face tool. Yeah. Um, and that is such a powerful tool. I love delete face. Yeah. Um, the more you learn about, about CAD, the more you realize that it's all surfacing all the way down. Even if you think you're doing sol solids, under the hood, it surfaces. Yeah. And Delete Face is just a great tool that kind of reminds you of that. Yeah, completely agree. And and that's, you know, that tool is available in multiple CAD packages. Um, we see, we're seeing it here in Katia. We saw it a lot in the last tournament using Onshape. Of course, we've seen it many times using SolidWorks. And uh, it just, it, it is such a valuable tool. If, if you're watching right now and you, you don't currently, you know, just immediately know how to use delete face and how to patch up the model once you use it you know spend some time learn how to use it regardless of what cad system you're using you're going to end up saving so much time and you're just going to be so thankful that you spent the time to learn it yes it's awesome all right so we see mr alex on the left looks like he has completed that and now he's going to create a circular pattern very fast circular pattern there we see adrian on the right going through and creating those holes on that that uh, flange part that was sticking out on the side mr alex doing what we call the final spin looking over the model to make sure that there is uh no you know missing features making sure that it looks like the print and mr alex coming in with an answer two one six five grams and that is correct and mr alex is gonna lock it down here take the win congratulations to mr alex securing victory recognized by the victory cat and wow 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 what a battle from mr alex what a battle from ozzy asai latvia versus romania solidworks versus katia little Dasso versus Dasso match up here. So cool, so awesome, so much fun to watch those battles today, to watch all those battles. But let's start out by giving a GG to the winner and really a GG to all of our runners today. Good game to Mr. Alex, good game to Ozzy, good game to, uh, good game to Great Nate, and of course, good game to Himanta HD, Himanta, Himanta. <laughs> Yeah, that was super. Great job, both of you. Yeah. Yeah, great job. To